Hi guys, welcome to What to Cook Next. In today's episode, we're gonna make stuffed cabbage casserole. Super yummy and really easy to make. I love this dish because you can also freeze it. So what I like to do, I cut it up into large cubes. I put the cubes on a baking sheet and I freeze them like that. And then when they're frozen, I put them in a Ziploc bag. So easy. So here are all the ingredients. I'm gonna be using ground pork. I already diced some onion. I have cooked and cooled rice on hand. I'm gonna be using fresh tomato sauce that I made. You can use marinara sauce, you can use small diced tomatoes, whatever tomato sauce you have on hand is fine for this. And for the spices, I'm gonna be using paprika, uh, ground caraway seeds. I like to use majoran, you can also use thyme if you don't like majoran or you don't have it on hand. We're gonna need some garlic, also salt and pepper. And then we'll be using cabbage and you're gonna need some whole caraway seeds. Alright, so let's get started. First we're gonna season, season the meat with uh, ground caraway seeds, paprika, you wanna add pressed garlic, season with pepper and salt. Now heat olive oil in a pan, add onions and cook until translucent. This process will take about 5 to 10 minutes. Now we are ready to add the garlic, so I'm going to dice the garlic. It is safer to do this on a cutting board, but I wanted you to see how I dice it. So. Be careful when you are using a knife, so you don't cut yourself. Now we are ready to add the garlic. At this time you can also add majoran, or if you are using thyme, you can add thyme. And you want to cook this for about 30 seconds for up to a minute. Now we're ready to add the meat. So you want to add the meat and cook this on high heat for about 5 minutes, stirring. You want the meat to break up a little bit, so you have to work it with a wooden spoon. You can season it again with salt and pepper as needed. Alright, now we're ready to add the tomato sauce. If you're adding tomato sauce that is uh, watery you will have to cook this down until it thickens as you see my tomato sauce is pretty thick already so i don't have to cook it down uh, when cooking it down don't put the lid on top of your pot and cook it down for about 20 minutes or so until it thickens all right so it started to boil and i'm gonna add my uh, rice if you don't like to use white rice you can also use whole grain rice Okay, so it started to boil and it's pretty thick so I can remove it from the stove. And now we're going to prepare the cabbage. So for the cabbage you want to chop it up into medium sized chunks. You can also use a food processor. Now we're ready to season it with whole caraway seeds. You want to also season it with some pepper and salt. a little bit of olive oil in a pan or in a pot and then you can add the cabbage as you see the volume of the cabbage is pretty high but as it cooks down it's gonna shrink quite a bit you want to cook it with a little bit of water in the beginning just so it doesn't burn and then watch it carefully it's gonna reduce in volume quite a bit you don't want to cook it all the way through just uh, until it's um, almost almost done just halfway th halfway through and now we can Kind of put this together. So I sprayed my dish with some nonstick spray or olive oil and then we're gonna layer some cabbage, meat, cabbage and we're gonna finish with meat. The dish I'm using in a video, I bought, bought this dish at IKEA. Okay. 
All right, very important, you wanna cover this with the foil. We're gonna bake this at 350 Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes. Right now, once baked, you wanna carefully remove the foil. Be sure that you use the gloves because it's very, very hot. And then you can spread some cheese on top. And then return it into the oven until the cheese is melted, yummy. So this is what it looks like once it's uh, baked. You can make this ahead of time. It's okay to have it in a fridge and just reheat it. It freezes well, like I mentioned before. So I hope you'll give this recipe a try, guys. Thanks for watching my uh, video. Don't forget to subscribe to What to Cook Next. And I'll see you next time.